My morning ushered with the good news, breaking news. Zakir Naik's PCV has been fined by the British regulatory authorities for British media. Zakir Naik is concerned. Zakir Naik's Peace TV has been fined in the UK. That's the latest update that we are getting for you at this point in time. Let me go across to my colleague Bhaktosh joining us on the broadcast more on this. Bhaktosh, good morning. Give us more details. Uh, good morning, Hina. This is the first time that uh, such a hefty fine has been uh, imposed on a company that was, uh, was in fact, being controlled by Zakir Naik. He used to run uh, two channels in UK. The total amount of fines stands at around 300,000 uh, pounds sterling. And this has been primarily done because of the hate speech and uh, a speech with communal content that was aired on Peace TV and Peace TV Urdu. Uh, the, the regulatory body further said that they have analyzed all the speeches as well as uh, programs that were relayed on Peace TV and they found the content very inflammatory. Now, this also exposes the lie of Zakir Naik who has always said that he has been targeted by Indian government. In fact, UK was the first country that banned the entry of uh, Zakir Naik around a decade back and also never allowed him to come and preach uh, or, or give sermons in UK. Uh, he is hold up in Malaysia and Indian authorities have again uh, requested Malaysia to hand over Zakir Naik who is wanted in terror cases as well as, well as in cases of money laundering. hundred thousand pounds big amount but it's still the charity regulatory body of the uk is heading a separate investigation against jackie nike jackie nike and his hate preachings have destroyed the islamic understanding of south asia jackie nike is a wahhabist he's an extremist salafist and also he's supported by funds from abroad Zakir Naik is a hate preacher top to toe. He, he supports Ibn Taymiyyah's fatwa. Otherwise, he would have condemned it because he has been campaigning and uh, glorifying Ibn Taymiyyah for over a decade. And I have given you proof for that. Zakir Naik never, never, ever criticized that one Muslim cannot uh, kill another Muslim like Ibn Taymiyyah said. So Ibn Taymiyyah's claim that jihad is justifiable against other Muslims must be condemned. And Zaki Naik never did that. Zaki Naik never condemned Ibn Taymiyyah's fatwa against fellow Muslims. So he has always been glorifying Ibn Taymiyyah. And Ibn Taymiyyah is the godfather of all the Islamist extremist organizations around the world. And we need to investigate thoroughly who were funding Zaki Naik. Even the, down to the individuals, because I've been campaigning against Zaki Naik's hate speech for over six years now. Because I've been watching the transformation of this man from being a Hanafi uh, to a Wahhabi Salafist. And unfortunately, Saudi Arabia has done a lot of damage by funding this man left and right. Zaki Naik's charity is, is being investigated by Indian government and also he's wanted for terrorist related issues in Bangladesh, Dhaka, when, um, you know, there was, a, uh, there was a terrorist attack in one of the cafes in Bangladesh. And one of the um, uh, terrorists who was arrested claimed that he was inspired by Zaki Naik. Well, Zaki Naik might have condemned it in a, in a few words, but Zaki Naik never condemned the actual thing that, in, that might have um, encouraged the terrorists, which is you can kill a fellow Muslim and call that a jihad. But when the Quran instructs categorically, you cannot kill your fellow Muslim if he says he's a Muslim. You can't kill him. Simple as that. Unless he's the, it is through the due legal process of the country, for example, for murder and etc. But Zaki Naik, Zaki Naik is a hate preacher. He never debated anyone. He never debated anyone. He brought some Hindu scholars, uh, one or two, and they were not ready for a debate. He rather called them to have a discussion on the similarities, but he bluffed them and ended up having a debate with them because they were not prepared even. He never actually debated any uh, atheist, 
a scholar. He never debated any Christian scholar. He never even debated any Muslim scholar, one wasila. Ottawasuf, what is it called? He never, he never debated. So this man is left and right uh, as a stuntman. He has been stunting South Asian youths for a long, long time. And I'm someone who has studied historiography, theocracy, roots of Islamic jurisprudence. And I, I, I can guarantee that this man's preaching grows absolutely against the core beliefs of Islam. He, he is, he's being supported by Modina University products like Yadzia Sirkadi. Malaysia has become a center for all the Wahhabis and Salafis to flock there on the basis of Zaki Naik being there. So Malaysia has done a tremendously bad job. So Malaysia should hand over this extremist to Indian government as soon as possible. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, you will, you should, you, all the civilized people should support this. And nobody can tell me I'm a Modi lover. I condemn Hindutta left and right. I'm, I've been campaigning against Hindutta fanaticism for a long time because I'm saying that Hindutta ideology has nothing to do with Hindu religion. And I, I, I'm not, not also a, a supporter of uh, Zionist policies of, of, of Israel because I, I, I do criticize Israel on many issues, but I do want a two-state solution. I do, uh, I do believe that Palestinians and Israelis should live together side by side. The two-state solution should be there. And I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a lover of Donald Trump. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't, I don't like many of the things that he does. And, 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 and also, I do criticize my own prime minister, Boris Johnson, on many occasions. So you can't brand me on all that. To, to say that uh, I'm, I belong to that camp, this camp. No, no. So Zakir Naik is left to right, an extremist preacher. He needs to be brought to the book. And also, there needs to be a worldwide investigation to find out who are supporting him by doing a thorough check on, uh, on, on the sources of his funding. And British Charity Regulatory Body has started that. And because we also need to investigate uh, the people who are funding into his charities from the UK. That's how oh, that's what needs to be done. So there needs to be a global investigation to root out this Wahhabis ideology. And Zakir Naik has, be, uh, has had become a Wahhabis for the last, oh, at least for over last 10 years. Thank you.